with center fielder Jeffrey Pena. Pena, he's kind of that spark plug at the top, and if he gets on base, Mark, it, it, it could be a good day for the Central Florida team. You and I were down before the pregame, and all three coaches mentioned him. Brad, uh, Brad, I'm excited to see him go to work this weekend. Slider has gotten better. We'll see if he uses it. Ahead of That's two and got him with the breaking ball. Wingo down on strikes. Tanner Burns with the first K. Well, at 94 here with two strikes. Got him tipped to the mid of Matt Scheffler and two Ks for Tanner Burns here in the top of the first game. Auburn's bats have been as good as anybody's in the country, and it starts at the top between Judd Board and Ryan Bliss. Connor Davis, a one, two, three punch. So many things to talk about. Tyler Miller, we'll get to him. John Samuel Schenker, you football fans, you know yeah. that name. Brody Moore, I mean, it's Brayton Brown. We got a freshman making his career start on a weekend series anyway. So, so far they are. Ryan Bliss laces one past the second baseman in the right. Tough play for Justin, and Ryan Bliss picks up where he left off after a four for six night in the midweek. Just that, Connor Davis now with two strikes. Swing and a miss, strike three. Colton Gordon sits down Connor Davis. That is a big strikeout. Leads the SEC in doubles. Had a hot bat, 524 hitter. And Central Florida played him perfect. The shift on, Justin, 4-3 for out number three. And the inning comes to a close. Tough deal when you got a guy like Tanner Burns who's in that zone like he is. Another chopper to the left side, and Bliss unable to handle the pick as that one gets away from him, and that'll be a first base for Nick Romano. Runner first two outs. He's made two of the plays. And a two-out swing for Ben McCain, designated hitter, shading over in center. Judd Ward, and the inning comes to a close. The lineup. A bad three for nine and a double to just have picked up a bat a few weeks ago. And Colton Gordon sets him down on a big breaking ball. His second strikeout, he struggled with the off-speed stuff as knows he can handle the fastball. Here's Matt Scheffler on the first pitch, carrying deep to left field. It'll hang up there. It'll get over. Touch a ball. Matt Scheffler, his first round tripper of the year. And the Auburn Tigers are on the board. Yeah, but what we're going to see here is a mistake over the play by Gordon. And he made him pay and hit it out. That ball, it got up in the air. And that ball today is in. back through scrimmages and the way he's gone about his business. 2-2, two, two, fastball strikeout number th three of the day for Colton Gordon, and that'll end the second inning of play. Burns is ready now with his fastball. Called strike three, fastball grooved in at the knees. Tanner Burns working good on the mound for Auburn. Out of Dominican Republic. 0-2, oh, good morning, good afternoon, Shit. good night. Tanner Burns on three pitches. Gordon, get it and throw it, get it and throw it, get it and throw it and just wear the strike zone out. Good fastball. Eyes aren't that good anymore. <laughs> One, two, and a whiff, and a miss for John Ward. Colton Gord. Gordon back-to-back -back strikeouts here in the third inning. He's already got five. The mound tonight. Ryan Bliss, one of the two hits today. Diving stop by Archer to his feet. Can't make the play, and Ryan Bliss stays perfect. Two for two with a hot shot to third base. He's the guy that Coach Thompson talks about. Called strike three, outside corner, 91 mile an hour fastball. And one, two, and another strikeout for Tanner Burns. He is dealing there's the for the slider. Tigers. One, two in the air to left center. Diving effort, it'll get past Ward and a long run for Brown. Cruising into seconds, Justin, he's going to hold up. Strike on Rathbone. Burned from the stretch, breaking ball, placed in the left center gap. Rounding third to score will be Justin, and that's an RBI single by Jordan Rathbone, and we are tied. Rathbone has his team leading sixth RBI of the year. 1-1, one, one, chopped to third. Running Woley gets behind him, and on the bag at third, Bliss can't handle it. Looking for the tag on Rathbone. Everybody's safe, and it's runners at the corners. Another slow chopper to the left side of the infield. In-state player out of Tampa, Florida. 2-2, Two -two, bouncer to third. Almost picked by Woolley. Fires back across the diamond to first, but he can't get him. And the run comes home. UCF takes a 2-1 lead. Boy, especially. Or takes a few steps back to second. Right up the middle. Bliss steps on the back for one. Fires the first for two. And that's a double play. Ryan Bliss ends the inning on his own. And just 
pure power standing in that right-handed batter's box and called strike three. Beautiful movement from Colton Gordon on the inner half, and he sits down Shanker for the second time. Well, unsportsmanlike conduct call. I oh, hope we get it on camera if we do. Ground ball right to the second right. baseman. Justin takes three steps, and he's on the bag for out number three. All 3-2, strikeout number six for Tanner Burns. Uh, but that's you got to relax and go, and he's doing that. 2-2, two, two, breaking ball. Hit right back up the middle into center. Pena has his first base knock of the day and of the weekend. Right now, it's going to drive more fans away from the major leagues and to college baseball. 1-2, big strikeout to end the inning for Tanner Burns. Put it with two pitches. Leadoff hitter Judd Ward launches one deep to right center. Pena drifting back. Glides back for the catch, and it is a quick 1-2-3 inning for Burns. Hit well, deep into right field. It'll get over both outfielders and into the UCF bullpen. Carries out of the ballpark and has his second home run of the year in Jordan Rathbone. Oh, and by the way, his second RBI. They extend the lead 3-1. Over Auburn, Knights on top. Now with the time of day, sun starting to set at Plainsman Park. Greenhill is throwing from the light to the shadow. Doesn't affect him here, though. It's cold strike three on the corner. Yeah, I think it's probably a factor, especially when it's 93. Chopped to short. Glove side for Bliss. Plays the hop. Nice play. Davis with a stretch. 6-3. 68 pitches through five and a third. Here's Connor Davis. Smokes one through the right side and to right. Connor Davis gets a big base hit for the Tigers. That is Auburn's first hit since the third inning of play. 3-2. Blooper. That'll be snagged down. Tom Johnston with a great... Catch it second. He's the Tigers three to one. And they lead off the top of the seventh with pin the game, lacing one in the left. He'll round for second. Throw coming in. The tag and got him. Brayden Brown from left. Sure has. The last one especially to save, really get the leadoff runner. On a catch for Woolley. Steps, throws, inning over. One, two, three for Cody Greenhill. One, two, right back to Sinclair. Went down to get it. The slow toss to first, and the inning is over. Right back to the rubber, right back to work. Yeah. One, two, right back up the middle. It'll fall for a base hit. Lead off single, Jeffrey Pena. Work on the field. Good baseball club. Two, two, hard bouncer to short. Bliss to Moore. To Davis, 6-4-3, and Auburn pitches out of a jam. It's like this, they're getting guys because the big schools can't get them all. 1-0, taking opposite field, it'll drop in the gap. Rathbone comes over, and Judd Ward rounds first with his first base hit of the day, and boy, it came at a good time. Average at 5, 20, 10 RBIs. Smokes one, it'll get through, base hits. Back-to-back -back base hits for Ward and Bliss. That's number three for Ryan Bliss. Or Bliss. 0-2 oh, in the dirt, and Connor Davis down on strikes. That's a big pinch. Into him, but fastball away. Inside, or in. called strike three. Teams That's going right. at it early in the season. And he couldn't hold up. Good sign for Greenhill to get a strike out on the slider. Big hits by UCF, and now the pitching stop, start to finish. Good swing there by Romano. First pitch, line drive back up the middle. 0-2, oh, big strikeout, 91 miles per hour. T part of the order, Greenhill wants to attack. And a bunt, third baseline, running. Woolley makes the big league play at first. Rankin, Woolley fills it perfectly. Two. Payoff and took it on the outside corner for ball four earlier in the game. Again, maybe on the weekend. Scheffler with two strikes, chokes up. Skies one in the infield. First baseman calls it off. And with a catch, Nick Romano, one down. Pires. One, two, and got him. Big strikeouts for Hankinson. 2-2, two -two, got him for the win. Hankinson strikes out Sicoli, and this one 
is ended in nine. UCF comes on the road and takes down the Auburn Tigers. Hands Auburn their first loss of the season. 